President Abdel Fattah Sisi received a phone call from U.S. President Joe Biden earlier this week. The two leaders discussed the security situation in the Middle East developments in the military escalation in the Gaza Strip and preventing the expansion of the circle of conflict into the regional environment. With a slide over the phone is His Excellency, Excellency uh, Ambassador Hassan Rocha, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning to you and to the audience. How are you doing, sir? Uh, fine, fine. Uh, right. Uh, talking about uh, the uh, phone call uh, that took place between uh, uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi and the U.S. President, of course, Egypt is taking all its efforts towards directing uh, the uh, helping uh, the un un uh, helpless civilians inside Gaza and uh, protecting the Rafah border and trying to uh, so sort out the situation and everything. Uh, but it seems like the other side, the United States and other power countries are taking, are, are, are very biased and are uh, uh, lobbying with Israel towards uh, diverting the cause into uh, a totally a new direction. Yes, unfortunately, the United States is uh, in, in a complete agreement with Israel. They bl they plan together the uh, the war which is taking place now on the civilians in Gaza Strip, and the uh, every day, every hour, every hour, the defense minister of the United States of America in contact with the defense minister of Israel to coordinate. The, the war against the Palestinians. This is a fact and is declared, it's not a secret. So, uh, and the, uh, the, the Security Council of the United Nations <coughs> was supposed to issue a, a resolution maybe yesterday or the day before yesterday uh, to have a, a humanitarian uh, truce to, to, to allow entering the uh, uh, humanitarian assistance needed badly uh, by the hospitals, the uh, Palestinians, for the food and the shelter and the water and everything. But unfortunately, <clears throat> the United States also once again is uh, prolonging the discussions in the Security Council uh, to give Israel a chance to continue its destruction of the uh, uh, civilian district in, in Gaza Strip. Uh, also, uh, the, the uh, Israeli Prime Minister is declaring, if now and then, that Egypt has to receive uh, Gaza for, uh, from uh, the Gaza Strip, uh, whether permanent or temporary. Although we declared, I mean the President Sisi declared it clearly and to all the Egyptian officials mm. that it is unacceptable. Why? First, because it is a liquidation of the Palestinian issue. Mm. Uh, the second that is, is the Palestinians themselves declared they wouldn't leave their uh, places, their country, because they have the experience that they left uh, Hifa and the Yaffa in, in 1948 and they ran to Gaza, but now they once again they want them to leave their land and their territory. So this this is altogether make uh, make it clear that the United States of America up till now is not taking a positive uh, uh, position, is not taking a positive action to uh, rescue these uh, children and women from the uh, assassination by the Israeli air attacks and the bombardment and the uh, uh, trying now to invade the Gaza and to destroy the, the, uh, all the Gaza uh, building and the districts and to force the people to leave their country. Right. Um, uh, of course, uh, earlier President Abdel Fattah Sisi from day one have been uh, taking uh, the whole uh, cause and conflict over his shoulder and have been inviting uh, uh, over 30 countries over here to Egypt uh, to hold the peace uh, summit and talk about uh, how to sort out the problems. But he noted that there is global silence and this has to be changed 
towards the killing of the innocent civilians. And there is also uh, some trials uh, on uh, the Israeli side to uh, liquidate uh, the Palestinian cause. Also, uh, Palestinians themselves, in spite of what's happening to them inside Gaza, they refuse entirely to be deported out of their land. They refuse to leave their land. Uh, but at the same time, it would take some recognition of the United uh, States and the UN to be able to contain quickly the situation, offer some uh, humanitarian uh, solutions and uh, hold agreements and try to spare serious efforts to stop the bloodshed. Is that happening? Yes, and unfortunately, the United States of America and the European countries are misusing the term of self-defense. Self-defense is to defend my place and defend my people, but not to attack others and to destroy them and to make this catastrophic destruction of their life and to uh, uh, try to push them hard out of their houses, out of their country. So this is not a uh, self-defense. It is aggression, oppression. Mm. And uh, you know, it, it, as, as it was called by other names, I wouldn't like to use it. So I, uh, all the uh, uh, organizations and agencies of the United Nations complained bluntly and they are, they are unable to work under these conditions. There is no foil, no medicine, no water, uh, no food, enough for the people, uh, no uh, shelters for the displaced the Palestinians. Yeah. And the, the European countries and the United States are watching and sometimes saying nice words but without any action. And they are talking about sending uh, some assistance or some help to the Palestinians. This is not is needed now. Is the, what is needed is to stop fighting and to uh, allow all these waiting uh, uh, tracks uh, in, uh, on the uh, uh, Rafah uh, passage to go to the Palestinian people. They need it, uh, hardly need it. Mm. But uh, oh, right, yeah. uh, Ambassador Raha, the sad situation is that some countries are referring to what's happening in Gaza as a fighting or as a military confrontation. Uh, but in fact, it's not a fighting or a military confrontation. It's a complete uh, uh, breach of uh, viola uh, violation of human rights. It's a bombardment of innocent civilians. It's uh, um, eradication, uh, uh, ethnic cleansing of uh, uh, people um, 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 uh, who is living in Gaza. I mean, w reality speaks for something else. Yeah, this is true. Do you see you know. some Arab countries really in full recognition of this? Some what? I mean, do you see most of the Arab countries in full recognition of uh, the definition of what's happening in Gaza? My opinion, my personal opinion, that there is a, a, a reluctance in the Arab country situation. And uh, when the, uh, uh, President uh, Mahmoud Abbas uh, told that they, they should have a summit conference for the Arab leaders, they, they fixed the date of uh, the 11th of November. Mm. You know, <laughs> what is it? And it would be on the side of the uh, Arab-African uh, summit, you know. Right. The, so it reflects the the uh, the, the real uh, political situation of the uh, most of the Arab countries. Unfortunately, is not uh, equal, or at least half of the support the Israelis receiving from the European and the United States of America. Uh, we need to, to, to recognize that this is a continued conflict between <clears throat> the Arabs and the, the Israel. It will not end uh, by all means uh, by uh, stop fighting now or by uh, solving the Palestinian issue. It is a, a, a long, long, uh, a very long struggle will continue for uh, generations to come. So right. they have to recognize right now mm. that they have to support the Palestinians because it's not a war. It is, as, I, as you said, it is a genocide. 
uh, against the Palestinian people. Mm. But then, Ambassador Raha, uh, the problem is that whenever anybody mentions or talk about uh, the topic of uh, 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 the ethnic cleansing of uh, uh, the innocent uh, Palestinians uh, from their lands, uh, the, the United States and other countries would say that uh, it's a self-defense on the Israeli side. Uh, because of uh, a, a military confrontation before or some bombardment or something. But uh, do, uh, do you see that uh, as a self-defense in any way? Is self-defense no. taken uh, to be killing innocent civilians? And where do you see the role of international communities like the United Nations? Is it powerful enough? No, unfortunately, no. They, they are misusing this uh, expression self-defense according to the 51 article of the United Nations Charter. Mm -hmm. We have to defend our land, our people, but not to, uh, to attack other uh, civilians. There is no, uh, you know, a parity between the Palestinians and the Israelis. The Palestinians are a Cubaic people uh, with a very limited economic resources, with a very limited military uh, uh, equipment. So we cannot say it is a, a, a war. It is just an aggression, an Israeli aggression, not self-defense. Right. Um, uh, we have seen before during the military confrontation uh, in, uh, between Russia and uh, 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 Ukraine, there was a lot of hassle calls by, uh, taken by the European countries and the United States and uh, sanctions that were imposed on Russia and a firm stance that were taken. Nothing have happened even equal to one fraction of what's happening in Gaza. Uh, um, there wasn't uh, uh, phosphorus bombs used. I mean, illegal weapons you taken in that military confrontation. But if we look at the situation in Gaza, there is white phosphorus bombs that are used against the innocent civilians, which is banned internationally. There is a violation of international law, cutting off the electricity, banning water and food, and killing the children before the whole world to the media outlets. Uh, but we see complete silence uh, with uh, the uh, European countries and the United States. How do you assess the situation, and how could it be addressed? It is a double standard uh, uh, policy, you know. If in, uh, uh, when some uh, families from Ukraine was, was left to the neighboring countries, they accused President Putin, it is a crime, it is a crime against humanity, and he is uh, wanted by the uh, International uh, Criminal uh, uh, Court to, uh, to uh, investigate this with them. But now <laughs> the, the Israelis are killing the children. Now there are about 9,000 uh, Palestinians have been killed. One third of them are children. Mm. So, and they don't say anything. And it is not just the, you know, uh, uh, numbers. It is with photos, with uh, uh, recorded documented, by all, yes, yes. The, documented by all the TV, international TV. That's but right. they are blind. They don't right. see that. They just to talk about the uh, self-defense. What self-defense? So mm. it is now also there is a danger of the uh, to expand this war. Because if you watch the TV today, that the Hezbollah in, in South Lebanon now is, is entering uh, little by little, but today is, there is an ex escalation of the uh, confrontation between Hezbollah and Israel. Right. So it means that it, it, there is the, the danger that the war could be extended and could be, turn it to be a regional war, and it is a destructive for all, all the countries. Right. On that note, of course, Ambassador Hassan Bracha would like to thank you so much. And uh, uh, but, but with this, we come to the end of this edition of The Breakfast Show. Many thanks to all of you. And until we see you again tomorrow morning, that's a goodbye.